Hello guys, if you are uh, looking for a wonderful preparation schedule for cat which tells you what you should do on a week by week basis and a day by day basis, go no further than to I am. So just check out the description here. It's a fabulous link. Click that and then just see what variant of it works for you. Download this, stick it somewhere and you're good to go. Best wishes. How should engineers prepare for cat? I, I, instead of using the phrase engineers, I'm going to use uh, people who are comfortable with quant. Both reasons. One, some, uh, some people who are not engineers are ultra comfortable with quant and very unsurprisingly, some engineers are not that, surprised, not that comfortable with quant, especially the kind of quant that is tested in anything. If you are at home with numbers, you are used to solving linear quadratic equations, you have dealt with some amount of math and solving during your undergraduation in some form, then your strategy should be slightly different, you should not spend too much time pouring over details on how to do what is percentages, what is linear equation, what is ratio, what is quadratic equation. You should say, look, quant is my the part that I have a hold on. So I'll navigate and do algebra, number systems and geometry rather than spend too much time reinforcing basic mathematics. You should shift out your plan to doing lots of questions of the cat level uh, in the arithmetic part. You need to be super game ready for arithmetic, but by solving rather than learning from pandas. And then say, I don't, I'm not going to have any weakness. My advantage comparatively could come from topics like trigonometry, functions, inequalities, uh, slightly heavier algebra. This is the topic that I'm supposed to be at home with. These are not heavily tested, mind you. Only about 20% of questions could come from here, perhaps even lower. But if and when that props up, that could be the one that drives me from 93rd percentile to 99th percentile. So cover that, preparing for that now. So anchor your quant around practicing for arithmetic and learning the other things deeper. Spend more time reading, double down on, uh, on, on verbal to make sure that there's no weakness sitting there in any form and head to mocks that little bit sooner. So if the guy who's learning a lot of quant is going to start with his first mock at end of July or first week of August, you must say, look, I know my basics. I can approach 80% of this paper any which way. I'll do my first walk from second week of May and then have a longer window towards doing mocks and digesting that. So if you're, if you're quant friendly, naturally comfortable at home with uh, basic mathematical ideas, your preparation strategy, read more, make sure that verbal is in place, start hitting mocks sooner and navigate towards the non simple components of quant so that you can you can have a compelling advantage. You're not playing to get scrambled to get to 93. You're saying, look, I'm, I'm already at 90, 91 levels. I need to see what can take me to 99. There, in that route, sit juicier ideas from functions, from inequalities, from modulus, from trigonometry, from some parts of geometry. So you need to get more comfortable with the slightly more concept heavy topics. So start your journey towards it. Best wishes for you.